Welcome back into CB Sports HQ. So NFL free agency officially underway in less than two weeks. So from now until then, we are breaking down the top players in each position. And today it is offensive linemen. You can see this is the top offensive lineman who will be up for grabs according to Pete Prisco. But what exactly will happen to each of them? Let's welcome back in 26 year NFL executive Scott Pioli. All right, Scott, we're going to go through each of these guys. Let's start with Brandon Scherf. Uh, he played under the tag with Washington last season. They could, of course, tag him again, but it would be pricey. There is a chance also that he could be the highest paid guard in free agency. So, Scott, what do you think happens to him? Well, I'm not sure what's going to happen to him. Well, here's what I do know is going to happen. He is going to become the highest paid interior offensive lineman without a doubt because what happens to players that are really, really good players like Scherf, when they hit the market, they are going to make bank. And I tell you, Washington really should consider spending whatever they need to do to keep him. Again, when he came out of Iowa, tremendous player with all the tools, all the skills. He has some position flexibility, and he's incredibly smart. This is a very, very good football player that is young and can solidify the inside of the pocket. So to me, no matter what happens, whether they decide, whether Washington decides to pay him or somebody else, Brendan Scherf is going to get paid this year, that's for sure. So would you say getting paid, though, and Washington should try to keep him, do they put another tag on him, or are you looking at a long-term deal here? They might have to, but, you know, I've been in one of these situations before where I've tagged a player twice. Players don't like it the first time, but they understand it because that's business. They really, really don't like it when you take it when they feel taken advantage of a second time. They understand when it's business, but you know, again, I, I have no idea what Washington is going to do with this right now. Let's move on to Trent Williams. He did miss all of 2019. Uh, did fantastic for the 49ers this past season. Uh, here's the thing with him: they cannot tag him. It was part of his contract. His agents right. say, "Nope, that will not be a deal." So he will be an unrestricted free agent. What is your outlook for Williams? Well, I think that Kyle Shanahan will try to keep him out there because he fits this offense perfectly. He was with Kyle when Kyle was the offensive coordinator with Washington, and he knows that he he knows the system. He knows exactly what it's expected. Even though he's going to be 33 years old this year, within that offense and the way that Kyle's going to use him, he's perfect for this. Again, physically but also mentally, he does everything that Kyle Shanahan wants out of a tackle. Third on Pete's list, Scott, is Taylor Moten, who was drafted by the Panthers back in 2017. He has never missed a game since. So the Panthers, um, mm. they've been able to actually clear up a bunch of cap space. So this is not necessarily a money issue. So do they tag him? Do we look at a long-term deal? Or do you think we potentially see him elsewhere next season? I think he's going to remain a Panther because they understand how good of a football player he is. They've had a, you know, it's a new coaching staff that's in their second year, but they've had an entire season with him. They've got a good young tackle. And when you have a good young tackle in the National Football League, you pay what you need to pay to keep him on. So I really think that the Panthers, one way or another, will, have, will find a way to keep him in Carolina. So this is really interesting. So far, all the players, uh, you're finding their best fits with the team they're with right now. Let's see if you think this way on the next one. Talking about Joe Thune, the Patriots. You're with the Patriots for the long time. We love talking to you about this team. So they used the tag on him last season. He was one of, maybe if not the most valuable player on that offense. What happens here? Yeah, and again, Amanda, I'm going I'm to sound like a broken record here about <laughs> staying with teams because, again, it's what I used to do. I have no idea what is going on inside of teams, but if you're asking me what I think is going to happen or what I think a team should do, Joe is another player that I should stay with, the thing should stay with their team. And Bill has a believes in the premium of inside offensive players that are smart, and that's exactly what Tooney is. He's smart. He's a good athlete. He's a team guy. Here's the thing, though. The fact that Tom Brady is gone and some other players are left, players are taking a little bit more, a longer look at whether they want to take a bit of a home team discount. So I really think in order for the Patriots to keep him, they're going to have to pay him. But again, he has the all of the makeup and the skills that Bill puts at a premium. So I think Joe will probably stay there as well. All right, this next one is very interesting. Pete's fifth offensive lineman heading into free agency, Corey Lindsley. He has now started in 99 game for the Packers, first team all pro this past season. So here are the issues, Scott. As you know very well, the Packers have money problems. They are the only team in the past decade to not use the franchise tag even once. So it appears 
Things are pointing for Lindsay not to be on the Packers this next season. What do you think? They need Lindsley. They really do because, Amanda, I believe that the offensive center position is the most important position along the offensive line. Lindsley is one of the best centers in the league. They've got a veteran quarterback who's extremely smart. And you have to understand, smart quarterbacks want smart centers, and that's exactly what Corey Lindsley is. He's the communicator on the offensive line. He communicates in both directions. He does a great job of staying on the same page with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, and by the way, at some point in time, Aaron Rodgers Rodgers isn't going to be the quarterback and young quarterbacks you know if they have a young quarterback come in sometime soon they will absolutely need a smart center who can handle all of the business inside and the communications to help that young player grow. Scott Pioli five-time executive of the year I hope these teams are listening to you try to keep your players all right those are the top five um, give me a player maybe outside the top five that you're watching right now. Well, I'm going to go back to what I, kind of what I was just talking about, Amanda. David Andrews from the New England Patriots. Again, he's a smart player. He's a tough player. I know he had his health issues last, uh, two years ago, but it sounds like everything went well this year. So to me, David Andrews is a key player. Again, he's smart. He's tough. He's won games. He knows how to win. And again, I can't overstate the importance of the center position for good quarterbacks in the National Football League from a communication standpoint, from a trust standpoint. So to me, this is a guy that hasn't been talked about a whole lot. But to me, he's not only a good player, but he's a championship player with impeccable makeup. So to me, David Andrews is the kind of guy who isn't getting a lot of attention, but could really serve a team very, very well, Amanda. Scott, we appreciate your insight here. It is always phenomenal. Thanks for hopping on with us here on CBS Sports HQ. Thanks, man. All right, it has been a very interesting offseason so far, and most of the drama may still be ahead of us. We got a lot of quarterbacks to figure out decisions. Uh, maybe we'll be in for an emergency pod here on the Pick 6 in regards to Ben Roethlisberger coming to a new contract agreement. They're with the Steelers. Make sure to download and subscribe. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.